everyone so today is labor day and labor day while staying at home so for today my first agenda is to do my workout and for the rest of the day i don't know chill chill lang so let's see ko ano gagawin ko sa buong araw na to but first off let's do some workout with my workout. Nag-freshen up lang ako a little bit. Um, di ba ako naligo? Freshen up lang. So, what I did was um, for 4 rounds, ah, uh, no, before 4 rounds per time, I did 50 sit-ups and then uh, 4 rounds of 7 um, clusters, a uh, dumbbell cluster, 7 burpees, 7 um, bed deadlift, and then 7 burpees. So, 4 rounds of that. All in all, I was able to finish it at 11 minutes and 59 seconds. So, yun. And now, ano nga bang gagawin ko? Uh, medyo guri-guri na yung kilay ko. So, I think, after workout, bago magluto, so, hindi ba ako makain, um, mag-aayos muna ako ng kilay. So, ito, mag-aayos ako na aking kilay. Kasi, guri-guri, guri-guri na siya. Ayan. So, kailangan na siyang chaniin at saka gutan. Bilang, kilay is life. Hindi ako makapagpa-trading ngayon kasi hindi siya essential. So, hindi siya kasama sa mga essential things to do. Ano naman, gumis-tilis. Ayan, medyo nabinis na siya. O, oh, diba? Kaya lang, kalbo talaga yung kilay ko. Kaya usually, pinag-draw mo yung shot. So, kailangan natin kapitan para Magpantay. I cook. I'm gonna cook my lunch. What do I have? Yep. Gagawa ko na dragon food parfait and I'll cook my collie rice. Let's get it. Blueberries, organic blueberries. Oh, this is my favorite red dragon fruit. Tama na yung sobrang yata ng kilo niya. But it's okay, masarap pa rin siya. So I'm gonna be doing a red dragon fruit parfait. Slice it up in a glass jar. And then I have my um, blueberry chia pudding, which I have prepared days back. So I'm just going to put it, I'm going to put it on top of the red dragon fruit. So, um, this is made of yogurt. Binigyan ko lang yung yogurt and then blueberry and then I added the cheese seeds. I'm just gonna put some on top. Then, I'm gonna add some organic blueberries on top. Yan, frozen blueberries. So, yan. Ang parfait.
broccoli, veggie rice, I have garlic, onions, tomato, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, shiitake mushroom, here's my shredded collie, and then I'm gonna put sweet potatoes, this is sweet grass, and scrambled eggs. Leftover adobo and my dragon fruit and blueberry parfait. Let's eat. So that's how I spent my Labor Day today. Uh, during Circuit Breaker, it's by the way, um, which day of Circuit Breaker? I think it's the twenty fifth. Yeah, it's day twenty five of Circuit Breaker. So I started my day by working out. And then, after working out, uh, my friends and I, we have, we have this project that we call um, Rainbow Plate. Uh, kasi nga, we are talking about this book, How to Make Disease Disappear. And one of the tips there, when it comes to eating good food, is that your plate should have a rainbow color. Means yung mga iba't ibang kulay ng um, food, like greens, yung bro broccoli, ganyan. Hindi ko kabisado. I'll just probably lay it over dun sa video yung ano yung ano niya, yung picture nung ano yung uh, mga iba't ibang vegetables or food um, dun sa rainbow. I cooked um, 
cauli vegetable rice. So, instead of the normal rice, what I did was, nagluto ako ng ground cauliflower with uh, different vegetables like um, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, mushrooms, and, and stuff. And then, pinayon ako siya sa leftover na adobo. So, that was my, that was my first and only meal of the day. Kasi parang nag-lunch ako, siguro mga 4pm na. And then, um, and then I freshen up, nanigo na ako, and then I read this book. Yan. Part of my plan for today is reading a book. So, ang title niya is The Things You Can See Only When You Slow Down, which is a very, very insightful book. Kasi siguro I can relate to it because life here in Singapore is very fast-paced nga. Well, I guess marami namang parts ng mundo. Ganun na talaga buhay ngayon. So, um, tendency is uh, we are always saying na ito lagi tayong ginagawa, lagi tayong aligaga. So, it's a good reminder for me. It's actually hindi lang naman because of this book. So, even the circuit breaker itself is like a reminder na I have to slow down. People have to slow down. So, ang ganda ng mga uh, nasabi niya. Actually, yung, yung, yung mga topics niya sa book, like first chapter is about um, resting. Why am I so busy? Um, are we really busy? Parang sinasabi niya dito na uh, at the end of the day, the world really uh, moves, the, the, the world uh, revolves, so uh, it, it's a matter of a perspective kung uh, busy ba talaga yung mundo sa paligid mo, or yung puso mo, you are actually busy inside, ikaw yung troubled inside one of the things that struck me in this book is what it's saying na, we really have to be conscious in terms of um, taking the time to, st uh, to pause, and then to just uh free your mind, deep breathing, meditate ka instead of just worrying of the things na may inisip mo like sa work or probably financial. Uh, just just stop for a while, breathe in, breathe out. So kung meron ka mga, mga worries, what he what he suggested pa was you write it down so that at least you have uh, transferred it from your thoughts to a paper. So kumbaga, andun yung mga alalahanin mo pero hindi mo siya nag, hindi siya nagdudwell lang sa mind mo tapos when you think when you see it the, next, the following day probably you'll have your um, fresh mind na may isip mo na kung ano yung mga dapat mong gawin tapos um sabi ano yung panya dito is so when, when it comes to um, our emotions feeling low feeling depressed ayan minsan yun din yung mga ano natin eh nakaka parang yun din yung nag-occupy ng mind natin, kaya tayo pagod palagi kasi yung mga emotions natin, mga galit, so uh, in-emphasize niya dito yung um, uh, forgiveness as well, and then yung being mindful of our feelings, hindi yung you're just wallowing in it and dwelling in it, but uh, what he is suggesting is that you look at your feelings like from an external point of view, para kumbaga take yourself away from it, tapos observe mo siya. And then it gives you a more um, objective view of what you are really feeling, whether it's valid or kung valid man siya, what do you need to do about it. Tapos in chapter 3, it's about passion, uh, being right is important, being happy together is. So what it's just saying is yun, na hindi yung laging kailangan ikaw yung tama. Nakadagdag din sa stress yun, yung parang lagi kang nakikipag, ano, uh, parang anong ka lagi sa gusto mo ikaw yung tama, gusto mo ikaw yung panalo. So, it's not always like that all the time. And then, another part dun sa book is yung relationships. So, very important yung relationships. Eh, which ako, I will attest to that na in all these things that we are encountering and in our life, um, ang laking factor ng meron kang mga close friends na maasahan mo, meron kang mga uh, kaibigan na malalapitan mo, kung ano man yung whether you're feeling down, you're feeling troubled, o madalas, hindi naman talaga sila nakakasolve, but just the fact na there are people who are uh, able to listen to you or just be with you or just be beside you when you're going through those things ang laking bagay na niya na nakakagaan sa kalooban natin and then in emphasize din niya the art of for the journey of um forgiveness and then ganda lang yun natapos ko but um the succeeding chapters are about love um life uh, future and spirituality so yeah i'm halfway through the book it, it's quite an insightful one so i'm Hoping I'll be able to finish this um, tomorrow. Yeah, that's how I spent my Labor Day. And sobra ko rested kasi the last week was very, very tiring. It's a very tiring week. So today, I just chilled out. Yan. 
late ako gumising, chill lang din yung workout, yung luto, and then even reading of the book. I actually plan to finish it the whole this day. Pero sabi ko, hindi, okay lang. Parang pagod na ako. Pagod na yung mata ko, pagod na yung utak ko. So, I'll save it for tomorrow. Yun lang. And it's one month of the circuit breaker. So, we still have a month to go. Uh, hang in there, people. And let's stay healthy so that um, talagang matapos na tong COVID na to. Ayun lang. Happy weekend, everyone.